Andrew Murray was a Presbyterian minister from Aberdeenshire in Scotland. He was appointed to the frontier parsonage of Hrafrenet in the Karoo, a semi-desert region of the Cape Colony. Hrafrenet has a very long and interesting history. It is, after all, the fourth oldest town in the country. But the village of Hrafrenet and the district of Hrafrenet was established in 1786. The district was a very new district at that stage, but it was also the largest district with over 130,000 square kilometers. Now, of course, the British governor had in mind that the Scottish ministers would now preach in English, and this would force the Dutch people in their churches to move from Dutch to English. In fact, their policy had the opposite effect. All the Scottish ministers who came out to Cape learnt Dutch. Before Andrew Murray came to Grafrenet, he spent 10 months in the Netherlands where he studied the language to more effectively communicate with the community. Not only did they preach the gospel in Dutch, but they came with a revived fervour and they revitalised the Bible studies, the prayer meetings, the pulpits. When Andrew Murray was appointed by Lord Charles Somerset, his parish included um, the districts of Middelburg, Hopetown, Colesburg, Richmond, Venterstadt and many, many more. He was away from home for weeks up to months at a time and he was usually accompanied by an elder and they travelled by horse wagon. Sometimes they had to traverse very steep areas. The men who also accompanied them had to tie the wheels with rima and rima, you know, is a kind of rope made from animal skin to prevent the wheels from the wagon rolling back over the precipice. Two years after Andrew Murray's arrival on a visit to Cape Town, he met a young lady, Miss Maria Stegman. She became his wife. They had six children. The first was John. Two years later, in 1828, a second son was born, Andrew, named after his father. He was to become one of the most influential Christian authors of his time. His father was given to praying for revival and took uh, every Friday, Friday night, as a time apart there in the pastorie to pray earnestly for spiritual awakening. And his children were aware of that. His firstborn son, John, and Andrew would have been listening to their father earnestly crying out for revival every Friday night. 